Okay, Mustard R30, size 10. This is a still water caddis with a parachute hackle that I use. Uh, I've not had much, sex with, much success with it on running water, uh, but still water, it's been a great fly. So we just put some tying thread back to there. Then we need a bright green CDC hackle and we'll just tack this in with a couple of turns, loose turns here. And we pull everything through like so and then we'll tie that down Oops. along the hook shank. Don't worry about these fluffy bits, those will sort out. Then I need a hackle plier. So this is going to be a twisted and wrapped CDC body. So we twist like so and wrap. Make sure that you twist not all at once but with each turn of the hackle. This is important otherwise you'll break the hackle if you twist it all together. Twist the fibres in. You can just comb fibres up the hook shank like that to get them into position. What we want is a nice segmented CDC body here. off there go in front of it then we can remove that like so then we can carefully trim off all these fibers so we get a nice segmented caddis body Awkward one that always is. There we are. That's just done there. And what I like to do is just take my nail and push them tightly together. There we are. Then you get that nice CDC body. All right. Now we need some hen mallard breast feathers. So what we do here is we strip off, you need two about the same size, strip off these fibres, the downy fibres, so we get a nice wing. We need two of them. So you end up like this with one on top of each, one on top of the other like so and we place these top of the hook shank and we make a two or three loose turns of tying thread and then we can pull them through to make the wing nearly that needs a little adjusting Let's pull it gently It's not looking too bad. There we are, that's better. Now I can tie that down. Okay, trim these off. And we can go up into a little bit of that CDC hackle there. Get rid of that. There we are, there you can see the wing. It makes a lovely caddis wing. And the green body underneath. 
Then what we need is a little bit of darker super fine dubbing. Let's catch that in there in one turn then I can wrap it a bit tighter. And we just build up a collar with the super fine. And then we go in front of that and we take a length of polypropylene uh, yarn and catch that and just bring it up on top like that. This is going to be our hackle post. So we just tie this down like this and then we can go around the post Oops, just to build it up take just the tiniest drop of varnish or head cement and just put it on the base of the post. This will really help strengthen it and stiffen it all up. And we'll go back up and go around this a bit more. And then back down. Excellent. Now I'm using a a brown dyed grizzle hackle for the parachute. I'll just go twice around that, and then we'll. It's important that you lash this all the way up the post, and then what I like to do, just take up to that and pull the beginning of the fibres exactly down to the top of the post like so. Then I can trim that off if I can get any scissors to grip it. There we go. And just tack that down. Then I need a little bit more super fine. Slide that up, build up that back collar a bit and then forward. Just a tad more, not much at all. Get that out of the way and we'll just build up the head. Like that, and give that a whip finish. Excellent. Remove the tying thread. Now I've had a question or two about why I remove the tying thread now. And why don't I just cross the thorax and take it up there? Well. If you built up a thorax of another material, you don't really want the tying thread to be seen going over there. So that's the only reason I do it. So we just spin this around now, put it in that way. Then we'll attach our tying thread again. Lock it in. And then we can remove that. Now, tying thread has to be right into the thorax before you start winding your hackle. So now we can take the hackle and each turn should fall perfectly under the last. And we work 
all the way down the post until we get into the thorax and some like a sparse hackle some like a heavy parachute hackle I'm kind of in between it depends on pattern I'm tying as well really we tie that down like so then we can remove the hackle we can trim off so there's about a centimetre remaining of the post and then we take our whip finisher we've got under all the hackle fibres now if you wish what you can do here I'll show you on the next one I'll just open my bottle up and the whip finish if you want to secure this properly we go around like this and then we can just take a drop of varnish and secure it there now we can remove the tying thread and we have to turn the fly around again in like so then we take a cauterizing tool you can uh, you can use a uh, a lighter if you wish but you have a great possibility of burning the hackles they don't tolerate much heat at all so we just burn this high this high past day that's it and that's the finished Paraweld Caddis. Nice pattern. Give it a go.